right, sorry about that, folks. Internet issues, and uh, you know how that is. <laughs> it seems like it's always there. As the ball comes in, Arte over in the corner. Hopefully we get it back up and running. We got a lot of people in here kind of on their phones, so we'll see. The good thing was is it was a timeout, so we didn't miss much there. Jacob Rimhall shooting his free throws, put him up, gave us a lead, 21-20 here in, uh, oh, that's gonna be stolen by Jacob. And he'll finish at the hoop. Jacob Rimhall for two. Very nice. 23-20, 3.40 left here in the half. Ball gets handed off to McClelland. He gives it back over to number two. And Autolog Bay will shoot the three. Tony Autolog Bay for three. Over to Trett. Trett looking. He's going to go up and finish at the hoop. Trett will bank for two. Yeah, the showtime showing off. Coming down, Autolog Bay. Goes to his right, he'll stop. Send it back to the left over to Murad. Murad will go to his left, hand it off to Fish. Fish to his right, sends it over to McClellan. McClellan takes an inside shot, and he'll finish out the hoop. Matthew McClellan for two. So shot for shot here, Pima trading shots, and Pima wants a timeout. They're gonna call a full timeout here. Timeout, Pima. So Pima talking it over, trying to get something going here. They've got to get over on the on that transition defense as McClellan kind of just slices right through that defense. He's got the long body. He's able to do it. Need to get somebody out in front, get in that lane and stop him from getting to the hoop. It's tough. They got to get. This is a tough game. They they're playing a very good offensive team who uh, definitely is out there to play. They've got, uh, they've got some three-point shooters out there or, who are dropping their shots, so this is a tough one. Do that or just keep up with them, push them all the way fourth quarter, and then turn it up. You know, that, that's another way to do it. And the ball gets over to Kenton Skiba. He loads up and fires. Kenton Skiba. Kenton Skiba for three. He drops that three. Gets Pima up 28-25. Get him on a hot streak. We can we can see uh, this lead gets stretched out a little bit as McClellan's looking. It goes out, out of bounds. It's going to be off 10. Out of bounds. On the table. So inbounding it is Murad. He'll get it over to McClellan. McClellan up top. Goes to his right. He's going to feed on the inside to Murad. Murad at the hoop will finish. And Trett will bring it up for Pima going the other way. 28-27, Pima on top here. Ball gets over to Kenton into Tim. Tim goes over to the corner. He's going to come around to the top. Send it across to Trett over to Kenton. Kenton over to Jacob. Jacob back to Kenton over to Trett. Into the corner to Kaino over to Kenton to Tim. Tim goes to his right. Sends it into Jacob. Jacob out to Kenton. Kenton loads up, fires, and that was touched last by. Nope, that's going to be out of bounds. Out of bounds. Chargers ball. Not sure. That looked like it was tipped, but uh, that's all right. It'll be Chargers ball. Get down, play some tight defense here. 28 27, 135 left here in the half. Autolog Bay hands it off to Fish. Fish goes to his right, gets it over to Murad. Murad. Looking, hands it off to McClellan. McClellan back over to Murad. Murad. And yeah, they missed that moving screen over there. Oh my gosh. Murad looking, gets it over to Autolog Bay. Autolog Bay goes to his left. He'll find a little room in there and put it home. Tony, Autolog Bay, for two. 
And Arte Chargers will have the lead here. Trett gets it over to Kenton. Kenton back out to Trett. Trett over to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Trett, over to Kenton, back to Trett. Trett back to Kenton, into, nope, that's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Out of bounds, team of ball. And Arte looking to bring in number 33, Warren. And they'll let McClellan have a seat just for a minute. I'm sure Tim Sawyer gonna inbound here. Gets it into Trett. Trett loads up and fires that three. It's a little long. Jacob grabs a rebound and he'll finish at the line. So Pima's got the lead by one. 37 seconds left here in the half. Autolog Bay bringing it up and he's gonna get called for the carry. Carry, Pima ball. Good job by, by uh, Kainoa getting his hand in there, getting busy, getting in front, forcing him to take that ball back and uh, forcing that carry. Trett brings it up, gives it to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Trett, Trett back to Kainoa. Kainoa looking, gives it over to Jacob. Jacob up to Trett. Trett over to Kenton, Kenton back to Trett. Back to Kenton, over to Kainoa, back to Trett. Back to Kainoa, over to Trett. Back to Kainoa, back to Trett. Inside, oh my gosh. Tim was trying to make that cut, didn't make it. Brandon Fish over to Kramer. Kramer across to Murad. Murad will shoot, and that's no good. That'll be the end of the half. 30 to 29, Pima on top going into this half by one. My goodness, what a first half. What a difficult first half of basketball. As uh, Pima struggling to, to put together some offense here and uh, and finding something something to get get them going. They got it. They, they seem to be playing just a little bit on edge. I, I think it's just the speed of this team. It's it's kind of knocking them out of their rhythm. So go into the locker room, reset, get your rhythm going, and uh, get out there and play another half. We're gonna get a little cheer from our cheerleaders. So we got some stats for you guys. Um, Arte Prep, they got uh, Matthew McClelland. He's got the high there. He's got 10 points. Brandon Fish with eight. Tony Autolog Bay with seven. Uh, Sammy Murad with two. Owen Kramer with two. And for your Pima Rough Riders, Grant Ashby with 10. Uh, Jacob Brimhall with five. Trent Wiltbank with five. Tim Sawyer with two. Seth Russell with two. And the Splash Brothers, Kenton Skiba and Kainola Blair with three each. So good, uh, a decent first half. We'd like to see a little more offense happen out there and, and getting open and, and moving the ball. And, you know, hopefully we'll see that in this, in this second half.
got a second half of basketball coming up in exactly uh, one minute right now. So, uh, man, you know, we saw we saw some good defense being played out there by Arte. They're stopping the shot. They're moving. You know, Pima's got to get around that, take the shots. There's a few times I was watching that uh, players had some wide open shots and they just kind of passed on them. They got to, somebody's got to own up and go for it. Let that thing fly, let that rock go down. So uh, as Arte comes out here and coming out and challenging your Pima Rough Riders here in their own gym, it's a close game, 30 to 29. Anybody's game coming in here into the second half. So don't go away. We got another great half of basketball coming up. Tim over to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim over to Kainoa. Kainoa's wide open. He's got that shot. Nothing there. Jacob gets a rebound. He turns around. Doesn't go in. It's loose. McClellan's got the rebound. He's coming the other way. And he looks across to Fish. Fish will unload from three. It's short. And rebounded by Jacob. Jacob looking to bring it up. Gives it over to Tim. Tim bringing it up for Pima. And he'll do a little floater. No good. Jacob Brimhall there for the rebound. Gets it out to Trat. Trat goes to his right, gives it to Kainoa. Kainoa back over to Tim. Tim to Jacob. Jacob across to Trat. Trat does a little step and nothing doing there. It's going to be rebounded by, by McClellan. My goodness, got to just find the bottom of that hoop. They're getting the open shots. Brandon Fish back to Autolog Bay. He goes to his left and he'll go to the ground. They'll call a foul. I'm not sure where that came from, but all right. I'm not over there on that side. Down on Pima, number five, Kainoa Blair. His second, first team foul. And Murad gonna inbound, gets it into Autolog Bay. He'll go to his right. Looking, left, stops, gives it to McClellan. McClellan out at top. He's looking. And, ooh. There's the pass to Autolog Bay, and he'll knock it down for three. Tony Autolog Bay for three. And Tim coming the other way. Tim gives it to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim. Tim sets up. He fires that three, and it'll roll in for him. Tim Sawyer for three. Man, Tim the Slayer knocking it down. Great shot there. 33-32. Six minutes, 20 seconds left here in the third. And McClellan looking for a little bit of room, sends it across to Autolog Bay. He'll load up and fire another one. That's short. Grant will grab the rebound, gives it to Tim. Tim sends it up to Trett. Trett will reset at the top, looks across, sends it to Tim. Tim riles that, wrangles that one in, goes to his left, goes back to his right, and he'll get fouled as he makes that move. Sammy Murad, his first, first team foul. And Tim will inbound. And McClellan having to tie a shoe again. We got another timeout for a shoe time. And Tim looking inbound, gets it into Trat. Trat, he's gonna take it up, do a little fancy footwork and finish. Trat will think for two. Showtime there. And ball being brought up by Otto Log Bay. He'll go to the hoop. Won't finish hard off the backboard. No good. Trett's got the ball. He's coming the other way. Gives it over to Kainoa. Kainoa will take it to his right. Stops. Gives it to Trett. Trett back to Tim. Tim over into the corner to Kainoa. Kainoa looking. Gives it to Tim. Tim over to Trett. Trett. Sitting in the corner, gives it into Grant. Grant's got a little room. He'll turn around and shoot. It's no good there, but he'll chase down his, the rebound. Gives it out to Trett. They're going to reset. Gives it to Tim over in the corner. Kainoa's got a wide open three. Kainoa Blair for three. Oh, my goodness. And Kainoa Blair just lighting up this place. Putting in that three-pointer from the corner. Oh. Another magic spot, that same three-pointer we watched him do against Thatcher 
earlier <laughs> last week. And just, oh, what a great shot there. Awesome job as Pima has uh, already scored eight points in this quarter. They made the they made the changes. They made some changes here coming out. They've held uh, they've held the Chargers to three, and they've got eight here in this third quarter. So what uh, good changes, making the right plays, making good choices, passing the ball around, making sure to get it in. Man, I'd like to see him really really break out, extend this lead out enough to get a little bit of comfort room. We got to have a game with a little bit of comfort room or else, yes, I will need a doctor or something because uh, <laughs> I don't know my heart can take that. <laughs> These close <laughs> games are so, so tough. My goodness. All right, so ball comes in to Autolog Bay. He's bringing it up the other way. Trying to slow the game down a little bit. Gets it over to Brandon Fish. He's going to unload from the three and knock that down. Brandon Fish for three. That was a little slow on that. A little slow on the transition there. Out to Trett. Trett's going to unload from a little bit there, and the ball's up. And Autolog Bay grabs that rebound. He had position. Coming the other way. It's 38-35. Pima on top. Four minutes, 30 seconds left here in the third. Out to McClellan. McClellan to Fish. Fish over to Autolog Bay. He's going to sit out top. Feeds it inside to Kramer. Kramer out to Murad. Murad fires it short. Chased down by Tim. Tim's coming the other way. He'll stop. Goes, does a little fancy dribbling. Gives it over to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim. Tim back to Kainoa. Kainoa unloads from the three. And that's a little bit long. And Trett will grab that rebound. He shoots it. Gets it over. Oh, nice tip. Trett getting up there, tipping that over to Jacob so that Jacob was right there to, to finish that at the hole. 40 to 35, 348 left here in the third. And uh, they're going to call timeout as Brandon Fish is limping a little bit. They're going to take him out, put in number 21, Bellamy. So Murad inbounds to Autolog Bay. Autolog Bay gives it to McClellan. And he's going to try to find some room there. Nothing. Gets it out to Murad. Murad goes to his right, sends it over to Kramer. Kramer back to Murad. Murad will shoot. That'll be no good. And Grant Ashby grabs that rebound, gets it up to Tim. Tim bringing it up, holds on, sends it across to Kainoa. Kainoa into Jacob. It's knocked loose out of his hands by Autolog Bay and the Chargers coming the other way. Autolog Bay up top, trying to find some room, sends it back to McClellan. McClellan, oh, Tim thought he had that. Matthew McClellan for two. Tim thought he had that steal. He went for it, and that's what gave McClellan the position there. Out to Tim. Tim's going to fire a three. That's short and loose. Tim grabs his own rebound, sends it in to Grant. Grant finds a little room, turns around, pops, and that one's going to be long into the hands of the Chargers. And here they come the other way as Autolog Bay up top. And they're going to call an offensive on number 24. Matthew McClellan for the foul. He's going to pick up his third there. And uh, Matthew McClellan picking up his third foul. And uh, getting into a little trouble there. 40 to 37. Team on top. Over to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim. Tim over to Trat. Trat looking down. Gives it back to Tim. Tim sets up. Gives it to Kainoa. Kainoa in the corner is going to feed down to Jacob. Out to Tim. Tim's wide open. And that's it. The Slayer sticking the dagger in. Hitting that three. 43 37. Team on top. 214 left here in the third. Kenton Skiba going to line up, come into this game. McClellan looking. Goes to his right. Goes back to his left. He's going to go to his right. Feed it to Kramer. Kramer goes around top. Gives it to Autolog Bay. And yep, they're going to call that offensive. Offensive foul on number two, Owen Kramer. His first.
And Kenton Skiba checks in for Trent Wilpink. And let's see, Tim hands it to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim. Tim over to Kenton. Kenton into Grant. Grant out to Tim. Tim loads up, fires that three again. Nothing there. And they're going to call a foul there. I think against Kenton on the rebound. Yeah. Foul on number zero, Kenton Skiba. His first, second team foul. And Autolog Bay coming the other way. He'll be up top. Gives it over to Kramer. Kramer gives it to Murad. Murad back out to McClellan. McClellan <laughs> looking to his left. He's looking for Autolog Bay is what he's looking for. Oh, he's going to find Brandon Fish in the corner, and he'll drop it. Brandon Fish for three. My goodness, Tim Sawyer coming the other way. Gives it to Kainoa, back out to Tim. Tim to Kainoa, to Tim. Tim to Kenton. Kenton's going to release and knock it down. Kenton Skiba for three. I told him before this game, I said, if you got six inches, release it. <laughs> That's all you need. You don't need more than that. That was a great shot. Lucky, actually, the, the defense did pick up a little foul there. He, he did knock him in the hand, and they do call that pretty close, but uh, nothing there. Out of Log Bay, drives it in. Nothing doing there as Tim gets up. It's straight up. He's going to send it up to Jacob, who will finish out the hoop. Jacob, win ball for two. Yeah, Pima's got stuff going now. 48-40, 32 seconds left here in the third. Over to McClellan. McClellan goes to his left, to his right. Now he's going to find a little room and finish. Matthew McClellan for two. Ball gets over to Tim. Tim sets up. He's going to let some time roll off here. Gives it to Kainoa. Kainoa back to Tim. Tim over to Kenton. Kenton back to Tim. Back to Ka Kenton. To Tim. To Kainoa. To Tim. To Kenton. Into Grant. And Grant's got a little floater at the hoop. Grant Ashby. And that'll, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. 50 to 42. Pima Rough Riders on top. Up by eight. Going into this fourth quarter. So Pima stringing together some offense here in this third quarter. That was their high score, the scoring quarter. They got 20 in that one with Kenton Skiba hitting three, Kainoa Blair hitting three, Tim Sawyer hitting two threes. He's got six points in that quarter. Grant Ashby two, Trent Wilping two, and Jacob Brimhall with four. So when you see a score that's really well-rounded like this, where you've got one, two, three, four, five, six guys with points right there, then, uh, you know, that, that – really speaks to the movement of the ball, how they're moving the ball around, getting it inside, moving it to the open man, and, and creating opportunities for each other. The Arte Preps got Tony Ottolog Bay that quarter got three. Brandon Fish had six, and Matthew McClellan had four. Matthew McClellan paying, playing with those three fouls. It'll be interesting to see uh, how Pima deals with that, if they can remove him from the equation here with foul trouble. This might be, uh, this lead might grow a lot more. So here we come out. Pima looking pretty much the same. You got Seth Russell, Grant Ashby, Tim Sawyer, Kainoa Blair, and Kenton Skiba on the floor. And Autolog Bay gives it to Brandon Fish. Brandon Fish out to McClellan. McClellan over to Kramer. Kramer over to Autolog Bay. Autolog Bay gives it to uh, Murad. Murad into the corner. And that'll go out of bounds be Pima Ball. Great job on the defense. Out of bounds, Pima Ball. Great job by Pima playing tough, D. You know, they kind of turned, turned things up here in this third quarter, in the third quarter. And they're continuing into the fourth. There's the release from Kainoa Blair. Oh, just short. <laughs> I was ready to announce that one. Look good. 90%. I'd say 95% of the way. Autolog Bay, back to Murad, Murad to McClellan, McClellan to Autolog Bay, he looks at it, gives it over to Murad, Murad looking, looking, gives it out to Brandon Fish, he'll release and that's long, rebounded by Kenton Skiba over to Tim Sawyer, Tim looking down, oh he's going to overthrow it out of bounds, it'll be, it'll be Arate Ball. Out of bounds, Chargers Ball. 
And uh, coach just telling them, hey, slow it down, slow it down. We're not in trouble right now. We're doing okay. Seven minutes left on the clock, 50-42. Just slow it down, make good decisions. All right, Autolog Bay bringing it up for Arte. He gives it over to Brandon Fish. Fish stops, pops, shoots, and they'll call a foul there. He'll go to the line. Foul will go against Seth Russell. Foul on number 32, Seth Russell. His first. Third team foul. So Fish will go to the line. First one's good. Second shot's up, and that one's good as well. So it'll be 50 to 44, 649 left here in the game as Tim Sawyer brings it up for Pima. He's going to feed it to Grant. Grant to Seth. And Seth met at the top. He'll be fouled that time as he goes up. And that foul will go against number two, Owen Kramer. Foul on Owen Kramer. His second, 14 foul. Oh, is that his third? Looks like that's Owen Kramer's third as Seth misses that first one. Second shot's up, and that one's good for Seth. And Jacob Brimhall's going to check in for Seth Russell. 51 44, 639 left here in the fourth. I'd like to welcome all of our people out there and, and hey we'd like to thank our booster club sponsors oh my goodness what a hustle by Kainoa Blair we'll thank him in a minute he <laughs> goes over to Tim Tim at the top goes to his right he's going to give it out to Kainoa Kainoa over to Kenton Kenton's got some room he's going to be fouled and knock it down Kenton and that's going to get McClellan his fourth foul. Foul on number 24, Matthew McClellan. His fourth, 15 foul. Oh my gosh. Woo. Thank you, sir. May I have another? And Grant Ashby's going to grab that rebound. Oh, it's just long for Ashby, and they're going to call a foul on Grant there. Yeah. Foul on Grant Ashby. His first. 14 foul. And Autolog Bay coming the other way. Goes to his left. He'll stop. Send it up to McClellan playing with four fouls here in the fourth with 556. I guess you just you kind of go all out. Gets it out to Murad over to Kramer. Kramer to Autolog Bay. Autolog Bay looking. He'll get to the hoop and drive it in. And it's good. Tony Autolog Bay for two. And Tim Sawyer bringing it the other way. Stops, gives it to Kainoa, back to Tim. Tim back to Kainoa, Kainoa back to Tim. And Tim up top gives it to Kenton. Kenton's got it open. He'll fire, nothing doing there, but Jacob Brimhall with that rebound. And Tim Sawyer will grab the rebound and reset the offense up top. Gives it over to Kenton. Kenton across to Kainoa. Kainoa to Tim. Tim looking to drive. Does a little stop, pop, and drop. Tim Sawyer for two. The Slayer coming in. Putting on a show. 56-46, 4.57 left here in the fourth as McClellan gets a little room, goes to the hoop, and scores it. Matthew McClellan for two. Ball comes down to Kenton. And Pima's going to call a timeout. Wow. All right. We're going to take a moment to thank our Booster Club sponsors, the ones who make all of this happen, who have paid all our the fees for us to be able to, to live stream these games here at home as we are in the finals. And uh, grateful that we're able to do that and bring this game to all of you out there as, you know, we've, in this time, crazy times we're living in, the, the, we're not allowed to, you know, bring in everybody. So... Love to be able to get this out to you guys out there. 
Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to get out and thank our Booster Club sponsors for everything they do and for, for uh, providing all the great things they do here at Pima for our athletics department, for our school, and uh, being the great community that we are. We love them and are grateful for them. So give them a shout out. So Pima will inbound coming out of that timeout. It's 56-48. Pima on top by eight. 4.46 left in the four. And the ball gets into Tim. Tim goes and sets up at the top. No, he's going to drive it. He'll go in. He'll be fouled. And that's the 24. That's number. Let's see who they call that on. Foul on number 24, Matthew McClellan. His fifth. And that'll take Matthew McClellan out of the game. He just picked up his fifth foul. So, Pima playing a, a good game. I mean, it, that's what we talked about, right? That's one way to deal with a player that's playing with foul trouble is get him fouled out. You know, McClellan came in. He played a great game. You got to give it to him. He, he scored... 6, 10, 14. He scored 16 points. And I'm not sure what they're going to call here. They're going to put, they say the basket counted. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on number 14. Hold on. The, the refs are deliberating here at half court. They're going to bring up the third ref. They want to talk about this. There might He might have encroached on the shot, the defender. You're not allowed to get to break that three-point line and come into the come into the top. That may be what they're calling there. Yeah, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Let's see who they what they call there. That's going to be on number two. Going to be his fourth. Foul on number two, Owen Kramer, his fourth, seventh team foul. And that'll put Tim Sawyer at the line to shoot a one and one. And that first one's no good. But Jacob grabbing the rebound, he puts it up again, gets his rebounds, and that time he puts it in. Jacob Lindenhall for two. And we're coming back the other way, out of Log Bay. Man, what a fight down there. Jacob wanted that. You could see that in his eyes and it, it, just everything, the way he kept his body. What a great play there. Ball comes down. Brandon Fish fires. It's long. And Kenton Skiba grabs a rebound, gives it to Tim Sawyer. Coming the other way are the Pima Rough Riders. Tim Sawyer at the top. Sends it over to Kainoa. Back to Tim. Back to Kainoa. He's wide open. Tim was saying, just shoot that, man. And rebound by Autolog Bay, who came flying out of nowhere. Wow. He'll come down. He's got a corner. Sends it out to Fish. Fish will fire that three. And that one's long, too. Jacob Brimhall gets the rebound. And Tim Sawyer bringing it up. Uh-oh. That's loose. Oh, he picks it up. Good. Okay. Gets it over to Grant. Grant gives it to Tim. Tim. Going to drive it, send it down to Kenton, who's inside. He'll turn around, stop, pop, and oh. It does a little skip to the loo over the hole and out. There's the shot from Autolog Bay. No good. Grant Ashby grabs a rebound. He's speeding down. And he'll go lefty. Grant Ashby for two. Time out. Chargers. Oh. Brother, what a great little left-handed finish at the hoop for Grant Ashby. Man. What an amazing finish there. 61-48, Pima on top, 312 as they extend this lead out to 15. Great game. I mean, the, Pima, the Rough Riders came out, they, they had a, huff, a tough first half but really kept up well, just kind of burning energy, switching in guys, burning the energy of the Chargers, and uh, 
forcing some fouls, getting getting uh, some players in foul trouble. You know, now Chargers have a second player in foul trouble, number two, Owen Kramer. And uh, they're going to burn through their guys pretty quick. They're playing with a pretty short roster here. They only have uh, eight guys they're playing with. And so Trent Wilbank is going to check back in for Pima. But uh, definitely a talented squad coming out here, taking on your Pima Rough Riders. And your Rough Riders, in typical fashion, overcoming in the, uh, in the second half. All right, the ball comes in. Autolog Bay's got it. He's bringing it up. Sends it in the corner to Brandon Fish. He'll fire and knock it down. Brandon Fish for three. Tim bringing it up. Oh, they're going to switch to a press. Tim brings it up. He's crossed over. Gets it over to Jacob. Good job. Not getting wild by that press. Gets it to Kainoa. Kainoa to Grant. Grant goes right, goes left. Gives it to Tim. To Tim. Tim at the top gives it to Trett. And Trett will go to his right. Gives it out to Tim. Tim takes it in, sends it out to Grant. Grant resets at the top. And Grant takes it in. He'll stop, send it back to Trett. Trett takes it in, and he'll finish at the hoop. Trett Wiltbank for two. Trett Wiltbank doing a great job. A little magician work there, working his way in the inside, finishing at the hoop. And Autolog Bay sends it over to Fish. Fish out to Murad, and Trett Wilpink's going to steal that, and he'll be fouled as he moves forward. Murad is going to pick up that foul. Foul number 13, Sandy Murad, his second 18 foul. So that'll send Trett Wilpink to the line to shoot a one and one. With uh, two minutes and 10 seconds left in this game, 63-51, Pima on top. Trett's got to get out there, hit these two, these, these uh, free throws. Extend that lead a little more and make it difficult. Brandon Fish came out. He's meaning to score some here. That's a good shot there. He drops the first one. Uh, you don't want to see that happen. Get him hot. And, I mean, he's shooting with guys <laughs> with their hands fully in their, his face. So, <laughs> you know, that kid's got a shot on him. And there's the second one from Tread. He knocks them both down. Good shooting from Showtime. Coming the other way. Tony Autolog Bay picks up. He's looking. Gets it over to Murad. Murad goes to his left. Feeds it into Fish, and Fish will go to the hoop. Too hard off the rim. No good. Tim Sawyer has it coming the other way. And he'll bring it up. Sends it over to Tret. Tret goes to his right. Gets it out to Grant. Grant over to Jacob. Jacob goes to his right. Gives it back to Trett. They're going to burn some seconds off the clock as Trett gets over. Gives it to, T to uh, Kainoa. And Tim, oh, good move, but it's not able to finish at the hoop. Wasn't able to finish there, not being able to convert. Uh, great, great driving. And it uh, looks like... Pima, let's see, who called that timeout? Is that Arate calls the timeout? They're going to call a 30 second here. And uh, so we got a little bit of time. Coach Thompson going to use this, talking to his boys, telling them what he wants them to do coming out here in the fourth to finish this, this game off. They got some, they got some uh, work to do still. Minute 31 left. It's a 14 point lead. So you're looking at about a four and a half, four to five possession game so uh, gonna have to work that clock really work the clock and and uh, look for the good shots to extend the lead out so Pima coming out with Trett Tim let's see Grant Jacob and Kainoa there's the inbounds to Tim and Tim will set up at the top, gives it over to Grant. Grant goes to his right, gives it to Trett. Trett will be fouled, and he'll go to the line. Foul on Chargers number 33, his first 19 foul. So that'll put Trett Wilpink at the line. He'll get the shoot a one-and-one -one situation. First shot's up, and that's a little long. Grant's going to grab the rebound. 
Gives it over to Tim. Tim to his right, gets it over in the corner to Jacob. Jacob picks up, gives it over to Grant. Grant sets up at the top, goes to his left. Gives it over to Trett. Trett over to Tim. And man, they burned off some serious seconds there. And no call there, wow. As Tim sort of ping pongs around on the inside. And Autolog Bay drives it in. It's gonna be taken by number two, but Jacob Brimhall is gonna grab that rebound, take it down the other way as Owen Kramer misses that one. Up to Jacob Brimhall. Jacob goes baseline and he'll get fouled, go to the line. That'll be two shots now as they're in the double bonus. Foul on number 14, Brandon Fish, his first. So that'll put Jacob Brimhall at the line to shoot two. First shot's up and oh, just long. Pima's shooting long tonight. Reggie Stewart going to check in as well as Seth Russell. That shot's down and good. Here comes Seth Russell and Reggie Stewart going to let uh, Jacob Brimhall and Kainola Blair have a seat and rest up as coach wants to save them. Because this game is, this game is uh, coming to a close here. There's 48 seconds left. Autolog Bay bringing it up from the backcourt. Stops, goes to his left. Shoots, no good. Long, Tim Sawyer with the rebound. 37 seconds left in this game. Yes, Tim brings it up. Goes to his right, goes to Reggie. And they're gonna call a timeout there. As Pima wants to work in a whole new crew. So the starters are gonna get to rest. They're gonna sit down as they bring in a whole new crew. And uh, let, uh, let let the young guys take over and come out and finish this game so it doesn't get too physical. You'd, you'd hate to see somebody get hurt right here with the last 31 seconds and be out for this for the rest of this final. So you got to take him out, put in some new, some new blood, and let him go to town. So, yep, Seth Russell, Garrett Curtis, Coy Miller, Leland Thompson, and Reggie Stewart's going to be out there, too. So, Arate will have the ball. No, Pima will have the ball coming out of that one. And let's see here. Leland inbounds it to Reggie. Reggie out to Coy. Coy at the top. He'll go right. Hand it back to Reggie. They're going to try to burn these seconds off. Gives it over to Garrett. Garrett gives it back to Reggie. Reggie over to Leland. Leland goes to his right. He'll give it to Seth. Seth to Coy. 15 seconds on the clock. Coy goes to his right. He'll catch a corner. Gives it out to Reggie. Reggie resets. 10 seconds on the clock. And this one is in the bag. Over to Seth Russell. Seth Russell's going to let that the clock run out. And Pima coming away with the win. 66 to 51. Pulling it out at the end. Man. Came out that second half with a with a vengeance. Played with high energy, turned up the defense, forced some turnovers. I mean, just a great second half there from your Pima Rough Riders. The uh, the Chargers, Brandon Fish got 19, Matthew McClellan 16, Tony Ottawag Bay with 12, Owen Kramer and Sammy Murad with two each. For your Rough Riders. The game high goes to Grant Ashby with 14. My goodness, he had a great game tonight. Jacob Brimhall had 12. Trett Wiltbank with 11. Tim Sawyer with 11. Kenton Skiba with nine. Kainoa Blair with six. And Seth Russell with three. Man, great game, great night, great fight. What an amazing game. We'll be back here Saturday night for the girls who will play it, I believe at five. We'll make sure we get all this right and up on the website, but I believe they'll be playing at five right here. We'll have it live. The boys will be playing right after them at seven, right here, same exact place, different teams. Man, 